Hi guys. So today's reading is going to be a message from your higher self. Something that you need to hear right now. Something that you may not have been listening to intuition wise. Something along those lines. And we have three piles today. One, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self. And pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. The one that seems like it's screaming at you, kind of. And I'm also offering personal readings. You can find my Skype link in the description box below, and you can message me on there if you'd like to inquire about that. The prices are all underneath my reading as well. And <coughs> I'm going to get started with pile one. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of got stuck there for a minute. So, pile one. And 55 was actually just on the clock when I was looking at the time. So there might be a lot of change or transformation coming in for you. There could be some doors that are being unlocked that maybe were not open in the past. Something to do with an immense amount of unconditional love. You know, this could also be, you could be a mother as well. And you could be really gaining... Something in your relationship with your children, too. Unlocking something in that. And it could be, too, that maybe you are refusing to settle for less. So something is going to come in that's going to be very amazing and abundant for you. There may also be, you know, if you are a mother dealing with children, there may be some children that might be a little bit put off at the moment or... Or, you know, kind of throwing a tantrum or not really appreciating things. And there's going to be a lot of deep appreciation, gratitude, and love coming in for you. The pink rocks are all about that unconditional heart-based and centered love. And really about being able to see beyond the pain and the hurt, being able to unlock the treasure within, I think, is part of that as well. So for the poem we have, You're never stuck. Be honest, my dear, what is it that you truly fear? Hold your head high, know you can fly. Take that leap for yourself, don't rot on the shelf. Follow your heart, passion's true call. Let faith be your guide through it all. You can do this, you know you can. Pack up now and get a plan. Explain from your heart, don't make a break. Don't make break up an art. Tell them there's someone who will feel it too, that someone is just not you. What they truly want is not someone to haunt, but someone who feels the same. Something where there's a lit up burning flame. And maybe you left a marriage situation with children, and they really weren't understanding why you left. Could even just be a person in general, but that it had nothing to do with your love for them or things like that, but that it had to do with just not feeling like this was the situation for you. Being able to explain and being able to communicate that the situation that you were in was just not the situation for you and trying to maintain peace through it and still trying to focus on the friendship and the love and while letting go of the situation that you aren't feeling like is for you. Rise above the drama. There might be a lot of childish people around you maybe throwing a fit or maybe feeling like you should be doing a certain thing. And here's the thing, just rise above that. Don't allow anybody's gossip or anybody's negativity or anybody's harsh judgments of you to get in the way of what you feel is right for you. <coughs> Victory is waiting for you. And, you know, I think you might be really coming into success on a physical level and physical manifestation-wise as well, that you're really opening the doors for yourself because you're really in a state of gratitude and a state of unconditional love and happiness and peace, even with things as they are. Step into true confidence. It's time to really step into yourself, step in and allow your light to shine, allow your voice to speak loud, free, you know, and 
don't get stuck on the petty BS or drama or <clears throat> arguments that may be going on around you. Rise above that and shine in your own light. Shine in your own truth. Don't allow others to cause you to dim your light. The way you move shows your confidence. I can't look away. You are on your way to success. Every obstacle is a stepping stone in the right direction. So maybe, maybe you had left somebody behind in the past but and you were testing out new situations, but those weren't right for you. And now it's time to let people know that those aren't right for you. But there is somebody who really can't look away and really sees your confidence once you step up into that confidence once you unlock your true inner potential you're really on your way to success and you're really it's time to see all the obstacles that are coming in as stepping stones in the right direction as something that you can learn from grow from and move forward you know it's there's a lot of potholes when you're trying to change and transform and bring new energy into your life and sometimes a lot of the past cycles keep repeating, but as they do, you start to see them, notice them quicker, really appreciate and understand them in a different way, and you're really starting to build from that. A promotion is due, recognition is coming for your efforts and your ability to act. So you may be being given new job opportunities or new advan advancements in that field, and it could be as well in the relationship sector, but recognition will come through your efforts and also your ability to be able to express what you need to express, to ask for what you need, to really make it clear and communicate in an effective manner. Every day something new. Is there ever time for you? Ask for help. You need a break. You both do. So whoever this person that you're in this thing with, you guys both are really working very hard and really putting a lot of effort in and really trying to build up your world and stability for yourselves. And maybe you're both just working yourselves to death, you know? And you could both really use a break. And I think that it would do you some good to get away, to take a break, to be able to just be in your own energy. So if there's a love life situation going on, keep that in mind. And even if there isn't in your work situation, you know, if you're looking to progress and move forward, then you need to be able to take care of yourself as well. Because in taking care of yourself, you will feel better, you will perform better, things like that. You are able to go with the flow, a very abundant and very abundant and fertile law of attraction. So yeah, you're really learning how to navigate all the ups and downs with a very go with the flow kind of attitude and really learning how to let go of the things that aren't serving you and really being flexible and ad adaptable and you're really learning how to be in a positive vibration so you can attract in what you want to attract. Love yourself more. Remember to care for you as only you can. Self-care again. My heart is filled with peace when I think of you. So remember to love yourself and remember to care for you. Don't put all that weight and responsibility on someone else and don't accept their burdens either in that form. And it's good to be able to help each other and all that, but we also need to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves first and foremost as well. My puppy is over here trying to get in the video. This reading is ending up very long. <laughs> So we have the crow, and you, you you may actually have a little bit of clairvoyancy as well. But you're somebody who has a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, a lot of understanding, and a lot of really, you really remember the things that others do for you, and you pay them back in kind, and you really also are attracting a lot of that energy yourself. You're attracting a lot of people who want to pay you back for the things that you have done for them as well. We have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Tower, the King of Cups, and the Page of Chalices. So yeah, like I was saying before, there may be two people in your life, and you may be needing to leave one behind to go after another one because you're feeling like you just aren't feeling it in this situation and you're wanting a different situation. 
Um, there also may be somebody who was really, really focused on work in the past, or you may have been very, very focused on work and bringing stability into your life. And so maybe you weren't even expecting this. Maybe somebody came in and expressed their emotions and you weren't even expecting it. Somebody came in with an apology. Somebody came in with a love offer, something along those lines, an offer of commitment and value, but you weren't even expecting it because you're busy working on your physical world and you're busy working on your stability, your strength, and you're really putting in the time and effort and work required as well as the positive visualizations and affirmations to bring about a beautiful future. And you're really waiting for that beautiful future to manifest in. You may even be waiting for an apology from someone as well. Someone who may have held their emotions back in the past because they were worried about expressing them. But maybe they will see the stability that you have gained in your life and be able to express that. Something really wasn't built on a very good foundation, though, and something really just didn't feel very rooted or connected to you. And now you're ready to tear that down, and you're ready to build something that has true value and true meaning. You see where the true value lies now at this point, and you're really seeing what your emotions are feeling as well. You're allowing yourself to feel your emotions and express your emotions. There may even be a message of love or an apology that you are manifesting into your life as well from someone else and you really are able to see the truth of the situations around you and maybe even able to predict the outcome in some circumstances so trust in your intuition and listen to that voice inside of you and allow yourself to work hard towards your goals and to really bring peace to the situations in your life that are out of whack and be able to express your truth in those situations no longer worried about whether or not it will be accepted, and apologize where you need to. But remember that rejection is protection. If you're rejecting someone else, it's protection, because if you're not theirs, they don't want somebody that isn't theirs. They want somebody that it's going to be a good connection with, somebody that feels right. And if it doesn't feel right to you, it doesn't feel right to them either, even if they're lying to themselves. <laughs> So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about this reading in the comments below, or if you felt like it resonated with you or your situation, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile 2. So for Pile 2, there may be a lot of transforma transformation coming in for this pile as well. You know, you may be drawn to Pile 1, too. Um... You're really having a lot of transformations, though, deaths of the old way of being and new beginnings. <clears throat> you may even have a very strong connection with someone on the other side as well. You may have lost someone and they may be there watching over you, guiding you. Um, yeah, there's an angel here. This is reminding me of an angel, actually. So... You really have a lot of keys in the spiritual world and a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, and you have a lot of angels and possibly ancestors, past, past loved ones who have passed on that are watching you and with you, and there's a lot of transformative energy going on in your life. You're really transforming things and coming out as this new person and really allowing the deaths of the past to be in the past and really opening yourself up to the new knowing that when one door closes another opens so we have and we got two poems for this one as well so there must have been a really strong message that needed to come through here heartache you took my trust and ripped it in two my intuition told me i knew you should have listened to the sound my heart was too busy fluttering around you only played games for all to see I hope you feel proud of this, all for some luster's kiss. That's all I meant to you that night, no matter how much I wanted it to be right. Right now it might seem the light won't come back, but deep inside you are Daddy Mac. Time to Take time to cleanse and rest your soul. Don't allow the burden to grow. Suppressing your tears can be poisonous. To yourself, don't be devious. Allow grief to sweep over you. Just don't give your, give away your control from that view, if you do. 
All right. Allow grief to sweep over you. Just don't give away your control from that view if you do. You'll still make it through. The other side is bright. Focus on the light. So and there's actually a picture with this one. There's really a need to center yourself, to ground yourself, to find your peace within. And to really, if you were drawn to pile one, there's a need to change locations as well and to move from one place to the next to leave a situation. So your heart may have been broken by something in the past, someone who used you and abused you and your trust and really hurt you very immensely, intensely hurt you. And now you're really in this state where you just need to take that time to cleanse. You need to take that time to cry, to let it all out, to really feel the feelings that you're feeling so that you can find your peace within again. We have allow yourself to believe. Remember to have fun too. Play your cards close to your chest. So it's a good idea to be a little strategic in your dealings and to really allow yourself to not have to give everything away right away. Remember to have fun as you're doing things. Remember all the fun moments that you had with this person, even if they did break your heart. Allow yourself to be at peace because if something was meant for you, then it would last. If it isn't, then it's going to fall away. But those things falling away is so that you can make room for the new as well. Allow yourself to believe that this situation happened for the highest good. Allow yourself to believe in the people guiding you and guarding you and communing with you from the other side as well. Allow yourself to believe that this transformation is going to bring something beautiful. Remember to be patient. Anything worth having takes time to cultivate. You are very, very good with children and animals. It is beautiful to watch. Your heart is so big and amazingly beautiful. Love radiates from you. You always look so put together. Word is starting to spread. Customers will soon come your way. So, it's really time to be patient, be trusting, and have faith, persistence, determination. You're somebody who may be in the public eye a lot as well. You may be an influencer. You may be a YouTube reader. You may be um, somebody spiritual more than likely, though. Somebody who has a spiritual business or practice or something along those lines. You may work with children. You may work with animals. You're somebody that really is always very put together, and you really have a beautiful, big heart. And you really radiate this love out onto the world. And once again, if you felt drawn to pile one, because this is an unconditional kind of love here too, then go ahead and watch that. But there's a lot of people talking very highly of you, very good things being said about you. And word is really starting to spread. And you're really going to start receiving recognition for your gifts soon. And you're really going to start receiving compensation for your services as well. Everything is going to be okay. Calm your thoughts and find peace within. Take down the armor. It is time to let loose. So even though you have had a heartbreak in the past, even though you've had a heartbreak in the past, it is time to really allow yourself to drop the wall and to open your heart and to know that everything is going to be okay. Calm your thoughts. Find your peace within. Really take time to grieve and to allow those losses to fall away and allow the new to come in knowing that it's for your highest good. We have the decision here to take a new path, the decision here to really look at things, to understand where your shortcomings are, to understand where you want to take a leap of faith at, to really, you know, you may be a healer here. This pile may be a lot of the healers that are watching this channel as well. Somebody who's joyous, positive, beautiful, 
imaginative, believes in the impossible, and really takes a risk to go after those things. Somebody who can be very logical and analytical at the same time, and somebody who communicates very effectively, efficiently, maturely, and somebody who really is able to transform all the energy around them, and you're really following the spiritual path, you're stepping into your spiritual leadership role. And there may be some indecision going on about which way you should go, because you might be overthinking things to a detrimental extent. And it's time to stop overthinking things. It's time to end this energy. And it's time to just take this leap of faith to delve in, to dive deep, and to really not focus on, you know, the surface level things. It's time to dive deep and to really release any indecision, release any feelings of being stuck or trapped in a indecisive state and any kind of overanalyzing energy or any kind of uh, arrogance or the need to lash out at others and really just focus on your goals, focus on your forward movement. And there may also be an overworking energy here a bit as well. And remember to take time for fun. Remember to take time for joy. Remember to take time to play. Remember to take time out to do things that make you feel good and bring up your energetic vibration because that is what you're selling here really is your vibration and your energy and you really need to take care of that in order to market yourself. So that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below whether or not this fit with you or your situation and i hope that you guys have an absolutely beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile three <clears throat> so for pile three i was expecting pile two to be the longest one but i think pile one ended up being the longest one sorry anyway Pile three. So, <laughs> this is actually a key to a gun cabinet here. There may be something that's very locked up tight. And it also says on it to... Warning, to help prevent child entrapment, keep key out of reach of children and away from the cabinet. So, you know, I don't, <laughs> there might be a lot of uh, lust-filled energy in this pile for some reason. I'm kind of picking up on that. Um, there's a lot of cheekiness as well. Something may be locked away and somebody may be very flirty or teasing about it. We have Republican... Republica. Um, it's the Fi it's from the Philippines. This coin is from the Philippines. In 2015, there may be some mirroring energy going on here. You may really be seeing things more clearly now. Waking up to a lot that was hidden in the past. This is also a coin from 1993 as well. So there may be something that you're waking up to in the past. Your gears are really working and you're starting to see things in a new manner. There might have been a lot of mirroring going on, but it may have been a distorted reflection that you may have been dealing with in the past. There's a lot of spirituality here and really coming into alignment with yourself and your past as well. You can overcome anything. Leave behind the opinions of others. What is behind your mask? Hard times ahead, keep faith. So yeah, you might be wearing this mask of like this flirty, you know, teasing person. And really, there's a need to trust that you can overcome anything. And there's a need to leave behind any of the opinions or thoughts or ideas of other people. And to really focus on what you believe in and what you want going forward. There's a need to drop your mask, to put it down 
and to really keep your face during the hard times that are going to come with removing this mask because there are going to be hard times with removing this mask you may have distorted the view of yourself to another person and now you're really having to come clean and you're really having to wash away the things that you allowed to be seen as you when they weren't you and there's really a need to unlock what has been hidden and to let it all out and to really keep your faith and trust and belief that you can overcome the obstacles coming your way as you do this. You are very creative. You can make something from almost nothing. You have an unusual style. You may be a trendsetter. Ask me to go on a date. I'll say yes. Read between the lines. They may not be opening up because they are unsure of your reaction. You always turn up at just the right timing. So... <laughs> There may be someone you're wanting to ask to go on a date. If you're wanting to ask them to go on a date, just ask them. Just pluck up that courage and be like, hey, you want to go grab some coffee with me sometime? It doesn't have to be a marriage proposal, you know? Just be like, hey, you want to go grab some coffee with me sometime? You want to go get dinner with me here in a couple nights? It would be pretty cool to get to know you and to really build a friendship with you because, you know, I'm kind of interested in you and I like you as a person. You don't got to rush in 100 miles an hour, but you could ask them on a date. You may be somebody that always turns up at just the right timing and now you may need to look at things in a manner that they may not be sure of exactly how you're going to react because you're hiding a lot. So just be your true self and express what you need to express and open up because that will allow them to open up more as well. You guys are both mirroring each other and the masks are jumping on on both of you because the other one is wearing them too. Somebody has to take that first step. Somebody has to take that leap of faith to put the real them out there so the other person can feel comfortable doing the same thing. That's why you should move slowly so people aren't trying to force themselves to be something they're not to fit in to something they don't even know because they don't even know the person if they haven't gotten to know them. You are very humble, someone down to earth and easygoing. So you're very humble, somebody very down-to-earth, easygoing, somebody who's really easy to talk to, somebody who's really easy to please, somebody that really is just able to go with the flow, but they really aren't sure of whether or not you would be okay with them expressing who they really are. You may also be somebody who people are just very intoxicated with and really want to be like or want to be with on a regular basis too. Choices. You chose another, I let you walk. I still feel weak when you talk. You wore my heart on a string. The look in your eyes made my soul sing. I let my love freely take flight. With it that strong, how could I fight? I'll always remember the feelings I felt. You broke through and made my heart melt. Close to me, I felt your vibe. In you, I let myself imbibe. From now on, your spot is secure, but from you, it will be kept for sure. Brother is what you will be for now. After everything, I will not bow, but your friendship means the world to me. That's why I let you fly free. So, there could have even been a very strong friendship that you had with somebody and you were really hoping that they would ask you out but they never did and maybe they ended up starting dating somebody else and it may have really hurt but maybe if you just ask them on a date they might actually say yes it could even be the other way around I'm, I don't know it could even be the other way around that you know you might be the one who left for another person too and now you need to ask yourself what you really do want. Learn to just enjoy life. Live in the moment more. Pushing forward, looking back. Don't lose what's coming over the past. So maybe in being able to be with this other person, you really learn to just enjoy life and live in the moment more. And it's time now to really move forward. Um, don't lose what sight over what's coming or don't lose what's coming because of the past situations. Don't lose what's coming because of someone who didn't take you before or someone who didn't see your truth or someone who didn't love you for what you are or someone that you had to keep a mask on to even be with. 
When I look into your eyes, I never see any lies. So yeah, you may be masking some things, but you definitely are a very honest, straightforward person. And maybe you even saw this person as an honest, straightforward person, and maybe they really just were very, very effective at lying, too. Freedom, independence, really learning how to go your own path, and really learning how to stand in your own power, and to express yourself, no matter who's around, to really free yourself. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been through an awful lot, but you've really been able to, through faith, trust, persi persistence, patience, and determination, you've really been able to balance your passions and your emotions, and you've really been able to end this feeling of being burdened, or you will soon be free of this feeling of being burdened because of the past, and you'll be able to communicate in a more effective way, in a more patient way, in a more trusting way, because you will be healing the past pain and hurt that caused you to maybe o overly obsess over things at times, or even overthink things at times, or overspeak things, and if you feel drawn to pile two, go ahead and watch pile two. If you really had a massive heartbreak in this situation, then there's a lot in there that may help you as well. So, yeah, this cycle of hard work, persistence, and determination is in front of you, and there may even be a message of truth coming in about the burdens that were placed on someone who you may have hurt in this manner as well, or there may be a message of truth coming in to, your, to you from your higher self about being able to end these burdens, to just put down the burdens, put down the burdens of the past and the pain you've been through and see all the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained from it and all the ability to communicate more effectively that it helped you with as well. Yeah. Be generous in giving of the knowledge that you have. Be generous in giving in your communication. Be upfront, honest, and truthful, and allow any of the burdens of the past to fall away. And you will get this in return. There will be somebody coming in to give you an equal give and take for what you are willing to give as well. Don't lose that over being stuck on trust issues from the past. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear if this resonated with you or your situation. And I really hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.